Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in this video, I will teach you about Norton theorem for AC circuit. So this is the AC circuit, okay, connected with a uh, impedance load. And from this Norton theorem, it says that it can be represented as a Norton equivalent circuit. So this linear AC circuit inside this box can be represent as a circuit containing a current source that we call Norton current, AC current source, okay, and uh, connected parallel with the impedance, Zn, where Zn is we defined as a Norton impedance, okay. So the In, which is the current Norton, can be obtained or can be calculated by short circuit, the terminal load, and calculate the current at that flow through the terminal load. So what is mean is that uh, to get the IN, what you need to do is to short circuit the terminal load here. Okay, short circuit them and then uh, calculate what is the current that flow through the short circuit terminal. So I short circuit that you calculate is your I not that. Okay, and Zn is the equivalent impedance that C from the terminal load. So, the, so what you need to do is actually to take out the load and then kill all the sources inside this AC circuit and then calculate what is your Z equivalent that C from the terminal load. For example, let's see this circuit. Okay, this circuit is already um, converted into a phaser domain where you have a voltage source uh, with a magnitude of 5 and phase angle of 20 degrees. You have resistor connected in series with in inductor, capacitor and also a resistor. Okay, and this circuit is connected to a load connected through terminal A, B, where the resistor of the load is 2 ohm. And the, and the question is find the Norton equivalent circuit that C from the terminal A, B. So meaning that if you want to, def, to derive the Norton equivalent circuit, the two parameters you need to calculate, which is the Norton current and the Norton impedance. So let's try for the Norton impedance. Okay, get the what is Zn. So to get the Zn, what you need to do is to kill all the independent source. So the voltage source is killed, meaning that the voltage source is short circuited. And the load terminal need to be disconnected from the circuit. Okay, from this terminal. Then you can calculate what is your Z equivalent that sees from this terminal load. So from here, we can see that Zn can be calculated as a 2 plus J5 parallel with a capacitor, okay? And then this one is actually in series with 5 ohm. So this is actually the Zn where we can calculate by using calculator. Okay, by using uh, this one, we can write down this one as a, a 2 plus J5 multiply with negative J1 over uh, 2 plus J4. Okay, and then Plus five, so this one you will have negative J two, and then J might multiply with negative J, so you should have negative. Uh, so this one should be positive five. Okay, over two plus J four plus five, then you should get. Okay, by using calculator, 
uh, you will have this one is equal to 5.1 minus G1.24. So this is your Norton impedance. And the next is to what to calculate what is your um, current Norton. So the current Norton, so you need to put back uh, the voltage source here. You need to put back the voltage source. Okay, the value of the voltage source here is 5 with an angle of 20. Okay. And here, what you need to do is to short circuit the load terminal and calculate what is the current that flow inside this load terminal. Okay. Okay, to get the I short circuit here, what can I see is actually we will use a basic Ohm's law. Okay, you can use another method, but in this case, I use Ohm's law. Okay, for example, if I, I have this one, this, okay, this is one, is 2J5, okay, and then I have an impedance, which is negative J1, and I have this one, which is, okay, this is 5 Ohm, and this is the current. I short circuit, so this is I1 and this is your I total, okay. So from here, I can uh, obtain my I short circuit by using current division technique, okay. So meaning that this I short circuit is negative J1 over 5 plus, uh, sorry, 5 minus, minus 1 multiplied with the I total but right now i total you need to calculate so i total is actually v over z total and we have we need to calculate the z total where we have already um to calculate the z total so from the okay from the simplification what i can get the z total here is equal to 5.1 minus J 1.2 ohm. So from here, I can get what is my I total. So my V is 5 angle 20 degrees over your Z total 5.1 minus J 1.2 ohm. This will give me a value of 5, 20, uh, over open the bracket one five point five point one minus uh, one point two image your number close the bracket and you will have um, convert into a polar form you will have your i total is zero point nine five with an angle of thirty three degrees okay so from there okay my I short circuit is negative j1 over 5 minus j1 multiplied with the I total right now we have already calculated 0 0.95 with an angle of 33 Point two degrees. So this will give me the value which is negative I over open bracket 5 minus 1 I close the bracket. Okay, and then convert into a polar form. This will give me the I short circuit is 0 0.1 with an angle of negative 45.44 degrees 
Okay, so right now we have already obtained. So this is my I noted. Okay, so and then you can draw the equivalent circuit. With an I noted 0 0.18 with an angle negative 45.44 degrees and connected parallel with a uh, sorry with the uh, impedance noted which is uh, 5.1 minus J1.2 and this is connected to a load. Uh, sorry, this one is I think uh, two ohms, right? So actually, this is the circuit. Okay, so we stop here and we will continue later with more examples.